Alrighty, we are on non-Western philosophy week 10 discussion questions. So, discuss, l discussion question one. Do you feel like you always need to be in control of a situation? Personally, yes. Um, a lot of, this is more of a kind of a popular topic um, when it comes to um, the male population than it is the female population. But as for my point of view, I always want to be in control of a situation. I want to control how the situation affects me. I want to control how I affect the situation. I want to control um, outcomes because I like to know. I like to be prepared. Um, I try to weigh everything, what could happen, what's the worst po uh, uh, possible scenario. So when it comes to any type of situation, I, I want to be in control of it, um, especially if it affects me. If it doesn't affect me, um, I don't really have a care for it or a desire to know what's going on or to be in control. Um, but th if this is a situation that affects me directly that I'm 110% involved in, I would love to be in control of the situation. Now, am I always going to be in control of the situation? No. Um, but this feeling comes from... Mainly, this comes from the dangers of the world for me. Um, what I've seen, I work in law enforcement, and um, there's a lot of bad things that can happen, um, depending upon the situation, uh, where you are, what the situation is. Um, this feeling comes from a need for safety, a need uh, for protection and watching out for yourself. Um, and this is also where it boils down to, this is more of a male perspective. Guys want to be in control of the situation. They want to be the dominant one. They want to know what's going on. Mine, this feeling comes from my job and seeing how bad things can go. Um, so being in control of the situation allows me to dictate what's ha what happens. So next is, does love require submission? Yes. Um, you need to not always be so hard-headed in a relationship. And even if that's submitting to, hey, let's go, let's eat here instead of here. Like, oh, well, I want to go to Logan's. And your significant others will like, well, I want to go to Texas Roadhouse. Sometimes you have to give in to the cause. Depending upon what the cause is, sometimes you just have to give in to the cause. Um, this can be dangerous. Um, submission can, people can get used to it and it can become controlling on uh, the other aspect. Um, your part, your other partner could be so used to you giving in that this could create nearly a toxic environment. So submission is needed in love, but it's not something that needs to be required or that you do all the time.